and they are in a zone complete zone defense so it looks like a co cover two zone i'm looking for square first it was and at this moment throw. that he knew lot with the he fucked up lot with the spin move and that's going to be a touchdown <laughs> let's see if i could catch him in a blitz i think they're blitzing that left outside linebacker no they are not okay but we still got the screen finish him Plot. Fatality. Full forward. You baptizes someone. He's my. still someone. Welcome back, Lumberjacks. And as you can see, we are revamped. And shout out to Zach Marshall for being the guinea pig. So when you install this revamped it they'll, they'll tell you that you can't use team builders so i was worried about upgrading to college football revamp i saw zach marshall did his and he said it didn't cause him any issues so i just went ahead and did it because all the cool kids are doing it right now and welcome back to the second to last best youtube dynasty today we play northwestern state i don't have to go over the importance of this game i'll let chief Cato speak for me but Obviously, this is the rivalry for the Caddo Trophy, and this is the battle of the Caddo Trophy. This is probably the biggest game of all time. So let's jump right into our scouting. And I got to say that this revamp looks very nice, much cleaner. So the game against Northwestern State is actually our senior day. So I wanted to go through and highlight all of our seniors. So Brady Attaway is a senior. And as you guys can see, Plaster is actually the better player. But Plaster will be starting for us next season. Attaway is going to finish off this season. For some reason, Plaster is getting plus one awareness. I don't know how, but it is what it is. Anyways, Attaway will be leaving us after this season. Keith Lawson is a senior. He uh, he doesn't make that many big time plays. But as you can see, his awareness is very high. He's a smart player. And, you know, he's a tough runner. He gets his first downs on those third and shorts. So... We rely on him a lot. We do have a good fullback coming in for next season. So he'll be replaced by someone that's going to long-term be better for us. We have Chris Lott as a senior. We also have Mike Brooks. So we'll be losing those two. We're losing Anthony Foster, Mr. Dropsies. We'll be losing our left tackle, Ryan Chambers, one of the leaders on our offensive line. We're losing Greg Hall, our one of our leaders on the offensive line, our right guard. We're losing Malcolm Maddox. He's actually a pretty good player up front for us. He gets a lot of sacks, a lot of tackles for loss. We're going to miss him for sure. We're also losing Brian West. So our, our guys up front, our defensive tackles, we're taking a loss with losing West and Maddox. We're losing a couple key players in our rotation up front. We're losing Ortavius Hippolyte, who's the starter currently, and he does play a lot. He's a smart player, 89 awareness. We are losing Cedric Barlow, who's had a couple impact plays this year, and uh, we're going to miss him. And we're losing Vincent Finley as well. We're losing both Jordan Aubrey and Isaiah Perry. Next year's free safety situation is going to look much different. It's going to be much weaker. We do have a Juco coming in to replace these two. A 72 overall free safety so that's most likely where he'll end up playing as you guys can see Jordan Aubrey is a fantastic player 99 awareness super intelligent guy and uh he has good speed he's our return man I mean this guy makes a difference on our uh, on our defense he's pretty much the leader on defense uh, he's constantly leading us in tackles he's constantly in the backfield him and Caleb Nelson Caleb is also a senior. He has great speed, great awareness. We're going to miss him significantly, and we're going to have a huge drop-off. You know, We're also losing Agri. He doesn't see the field. And that is it for the seniors. And hopefully we send these guys off in the right way. Bradley Pavito. Offensive style, they run a spread offense. They're looking to be aggressive, and they're looking to pass the ball. But they're, no, they're not no huddle. Defense, pass, defense. Got to get a pass rush today, guys. And we got to cover the back five. We got to cover in the back five. And then defensively, they're looking to defend the run and be a little bit more conservative on defense. So they're not going to be bringing the heavy blitzes. Game plan, we're going to run these motherfuckers off the field. We, we got to get out of way in rhythm. We got to get our running game going. And our defense, we got to get a pass rush. Um, we're going to look at their players and see if they have a scrambling quarterback. Northwestern State has Don Canyon as their quarterback. He is not a scrambler, so 
we probably don't have to sit anybody in a spy. If we injure the quarterback, of course, then their backup is a scrambler. Uh, actually, he has decent speed in an Excel, so we have to be careful of him. At running back, they have a decent starter at Robert Walker. And then at receiver, they're looking to run the ball, but they don't look too strong at receiver right now. So we should be able to cover these guys. I don't think so. Don't disappoint me, secondary. We want that Cato trophy. We want to keep using him as a meme. So... Let's just destroy these guys. That's the goal. We're going to run up the score if we can. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it and we end up losing this game. <laughs> but all right, let's go. Let's jump into revamped. This is the first time I've played a game on revamped. So this will be interesting. Look at how pretty and shiny. Even though it's the Texas Longhorns. Boo. Nice and shiny though. One thing I didn't look at is where they rank and everything, but they are pretty crap at everything. We should run these guys off the field. That's the expectation. We are number 24 in the country. Even though we've won a couple games in a row and we have not shot up the rankings, we need to run these guys off the field and prove that we belong in the top 25. That's what top 25 teams do. We need to dominate. All right, this is the battle of the Cato Trophy or for the Cato Trophy, I should say. As you see, this is big, big time. We win this game, we're a step closer to clinching this division and playing in the SEC Championship. Obviously, we play Auburn next week. So as long as we win two of the next three games, including this one, we clinch our division and we'll be playing in the SEC Championship. And actually, I noticed a little bit of a difference in the graphics. So that's, that's pretty cool. And a beautiful spin move. That's a nine yard gain on first down. Good job, Ford. Player that's holding the ball has the all caps. Or is about to, t I don't know. And yeah, they actually are blitzing, but we do have a hole. And Attaway is able to scramble for seven yards. That's a first down. And we're gonna have Mosley running this jet sweep. So it looks good on this left side so far. As long as we get our blocks. They're playing a man defense right now. Come on. And we're able to get the first. We were just a block away. From Mosley taking that to the house and so far every run oh they're blitzing all right so I'm gonna try and uh and uh, that's way overthrown that away <laughs> okay let's go back they brought the blitz I had to try and take advantage of that but oh yeah I have out away if I see cover two obviously Bearden's our first man but I will look at lot depending on how they cover this. Let me see if they're in a man defense and they are in a zone, complete zone defense. So it looks like a co cover two zone. I'm looking for square first. It was and at this great throw. Lot with, the throw. lot with the spin move and that's going to be a touchdown. Let's go. Woo! Beautiful throw by Attaway. Great catch by Lot. Helmet sticker Lot. Helmet sticker out of way. Let's go. Great spin move. He spun him around like a whirling dervish. That's another draw play. And easy. Come on, guys. And <laughs> Amaretto with another user tackle. That's three tackles on this drive so far. And I'm bringing the blitz. First and 10. They got the ball in our territory. And that's Amaretto with another tackle. All right, so it's a cover one that we're running. It's second and five. They've been running a lot. So honestly, I should be committing to the run here but and i just yeah. tackle and he's gonna get the first down <laughs> this little hurdle threw me off and amaretto is able to tackle him in the open field that's his fifth tackle of the the uh the game so far i think and we're able to get him in the backfield so a great tackle by aubrey there but i'm gonna bring the blitz here it's third and four and that's an easy touchdown for northwestern state now you can tell this is a rivalry game. They went right down the field and answered our score like nothing. Number 21 getting beat, like usual, like a rented mule. You get a helmet sticker taken away. <laughs> and I do not see any blitzes. It looks like Brooks could be open on this play. It appears they're running a zone. Do I feel comfortable enough to audible though? And Brooks is able to make the catch. That's a first down, we're into their territory. Great catch by Brooks. And that is a great run by Ford. He spins around, reaches out, gets the first down. And we're going to try and run the screen again until I can catch him. First and 10, we got the ball at the basically 30 yard line. Let's see if I could catch him in a blitz. I think they're blitzing that left outside linebacker. No, they are not. Okay, but we still got the screen. 
finish him! Fatality. Four. You baptizes someone. He's still someone's soul with that stiff arm. Let's go. And they are bringing a blitz. So I am gonna try again with Brooks. Hopefully Attaway throws this one accurately. And beautiful touchdown. That's his second touchdown, his second passing touchdown of this football game. What a great throw. And that's a helmet sticker for both of you guys. Mike Brooks and Brady Attaway. Brady Attaway had that first bad pass, but now he is in rhythm. We've got him in rhythm. Let's hope our defense can get these guys off the field because they get the ball at the, the start of the second half. So 10, 10 plays, 70 yards, and almost four minutes eaten off the clock. So our defense got a huge rest. You guys need to do your jobs and get these guys off the field. And easy completion over the middle that's dropped. I'm end up on this tight end over here. And I knew it was a screen pass, but we get blocked. And I knew a screen pass was coming. I, that's why I called quarterback contain. We don't have to worry about the quarterback, but the screen passes we of course have to worry about. So another easy completion for Northwestern State. These guys have a fantastic game plan. I'm not taking anything away from them, but this is pathetic. All right, so second and nine, they have the ball. And that's an interception. Go, Valier, go, go, let's go. Helmet sticker, Valier, let's go. It does not look like they're running a man. So I am going to put Brooks in the slant. And a great throw, and Mosley freaking drops it. And right down the middle, that's going to make this game 17 to seven. If Mosley catches that ball, obviously, we probably score on that play. I have a feeling a screen is coming our way, so I am going to uh, have the quarterback contain ready. Let's get, let's get pumped, crowd, come on. And the quarterback, wow, what a diving catch. The quarterback was hit as he threw, and the, the, the wide receiver sold out for that catch, and here we go. They're driving again. Second and 10, they are coming out in a two tight end set, so they're probably running the ball here. Yeah, they do, and <laughs> easy touchdown right up the middle. Oh my goodness gracious. Mosley here. And get out of bounds. Okay, call timeout. All right, timeout, timeout, timeout. All right, so we're gonna kick a field goal. 49 yard field goal, he should be able to make this. And he misses that nasty style. And we're gonna go into the half with just a three point lead. Our defense needs to step it up because they've allowed two easy touchdowns to the Northwestern State Demons. Honestly, if the Demons didn't score, uh, throw an interception, we would be either tied or they would have the lead right now. And they get the ball after this half. We've been running the ball really effectively. We're gonna get right back to that uh, once we get the ball on offense. But our defense, man, we need to get these guys off the field. And they've been, there's no excuse. They've had rest. Our, our offense has had really long time consuming drives and it's doing absolutely nothing. These weak receivers that they have are killing us across the middle right now. They've been running all over us. They've been passing all over us. Our defense, man, very disappointing. They have 117 passing yards, 49 rushing yards. We're winning time of possession, of course. That's what we do. We're getting destroyed by a really weak team, honestly, and it's very disappointing. They're probably going to run a screen, so I have quarterback contain. Ready to hopefully take the screen away. I'm manned up on this running back. And, oh, the ball's thrown short. We force him to a three and out. Let's see if our offense can come out and score. And Lot with a great return makes a guy miss. And he's down to the 40 yard line. We're into their territory already. Great job, Chris Lott. First and 10, we have the ball at the 41. We're looking to run the ball here. Uh, power O, hopefully Boyd can get his block. And Ford breaks off a tackle. Ah, oh, Chris Lott, you missed the block, bro. Huge run for Fred Ford there. Do I like what I see? This is a 3-3-5. We should be able to get something here. And right up the middle, Ford breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle. He's inside the five yard line, let's go. Fred Ford with the hard running. And I'm looking for this read option. I do not see any blitzes. It looks like they're playing a uh, very conservative cover too. And that is going to be a touchdown for Attaway. Helmet sticker Attaway. We 
have a 10 point lead in this football game that they don't hit us with a screen pass and whoa i get beat and we get pressure on the quarterback that's a sack that knocks him out of field goal range huge play by malcolm maddox helmet sticker let's go so i have safe man i'm ready to return this ball if it's in yeah it's a terrible kick and I, whoa dang that guy's fast okay well we, we get xp for a turnover and a uh, lot doesn't have the speed necessarily for that particular play but that's fine and ford breaks the tackle is able to gain eight on first down and let's see i don't see any blitzes they might be blitzing those linebackers but we should be able to cover them should be able to block them and ford runs somebody over and gets the first down that's a first down for ford 100 yards rushing let's keep it going ford let's try it yeah they are blitzing and we get the blocks and walker with the play that's a first down good job jamarcus walker and a great run by ford we get down to the 33 yard line great run great blocking and that'll be the end of the third quarter get your fours up let's close this one out with a touchdown all right so i'm looking for the button hooks i'm gonna put ford in uh they are it looks like they're running a cover two here i'm gonna put ford in in uh blocking Oh, and Lot drops it, and that's going to be picked off. I don't know if that was an uh, an actual interception, but that's the first interception we've thrown in a while. That was a great play by the defensive back there, if that was an interception. And no pressure, and we finally get some pressure, and that's intercepted by Jordan Aubrey. Good job, Jordan. Breaks the tackle. He's off, and he gets tackled to the 31-yard line, but helmet sticker Jordan Aubrey. Let's go. Let's see if we can get Mosley in open space here. They are blitzing, so hopefully we can catch them here. And we do get the blocks. Come on, Mosley. Oh, we get down to the 45-yard line. That's a 20-yard gain. Good run by Mosley there. And Foster makes the tough catch, maintains possession through the hit. And we get the blocks. And Attaway breaks the tackle, he's into the end zone. Let's go. So we're going to go up 31 to 14 in this game. All right. So we win the football game 31 to 14. We blow these guys away. I wish it could have been worse than this 31 to 14. I was hoping this would be a much worse blowout, but we win. Uh, this is our ninth victory of the season. So we reached the goal that uh, the, the athletic director had for us. And overall, our offense performed well. We got our 100 yards rushing by Ford. He was a beast today. Our offensive line blocked really well. Our passing game, I was forcing some passes. I was trying to trying to blow these guys out a lot worse than you know we ended up blowing them out by. But we win the football game. We beat Northwestern, and we get to use Chief Cato as our meme continuously. Let's go! I'm I'm sure Chief Cato is ecstatic. Yeah, Attaway had a good game. I was forcing some passes here and there, but he had a good game. So Attaway went 13 to 24, 170 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, 54 completion percentage, and was sacked twice. I was very disappointed by the pass blocking in this game. Ford was a beast again, 18 for 136. They could not stop him. He broke two tackles. Pretty sure he broke more than that. But Brady Attaway 10 for 24. Mosley chipped in, two for 31. Receiving end of things, Lot led the way, three for 53 both in receptions and yardage. Mosley chipped in three for th 43. We had a crap ton of drops, five drops in this game. Very disappointing performance by them. We had four pancakes. We allowed one sack according to this, but we also had another sack that I guess was due to, Am uh, not Amaretto, due to Attaway. And then Amaretto led us in tackles. We had three tackles for loss by Amaretto, Maddox, and Aubrey. And then sacks, we only had one the entire game against an offensive line that we should have been pummeling. Very disappointing. Two interceptions, and then we dropped a bunch of interceptions too. Barlow dropped two, and then Bailey dropped one. And uh, I mean, overall, it was a good performance. I just wish we could have blown these guys out even more. And most importantly, we get our ninth victory of the season. And we have received the final commitment of this season, Justin Clement. The, the dude is gonna catch a red shirt and not start right away. 
but we've brought in a ton of offensive linemen, which is good news. So this game is actually for the SEC West. If we win, we clinch. Of course, if we win against Sam Houston State, regardless, if we lose to Auburn, we can clinch. But this is a big game, obviously, and we have moved up to number 23 at least. And uh, yeah, that'll that'll be our opponent in the next episode. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy this series. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to improve it. Season three, I'm hoping we'll have much more effects, much more improvements. I'm looking to start streaming season three on Twitch. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, Essentials. I'm looking for square first.